Thank you very much. So Matthew 19 verses 18 verses 19 says, For where two or more are gathered together in my name, I am there in the midst of them. So we trust that today is going to be a blessed day. Once again, welcome to everyone. 
Um, as we know, Piotrans, which is part of the city of Johannesburg's bus operating company is responsible for the Avaya service, was placed under business rescue in December 2023. This has obviously created a lot of uncertainty for not only residents, but commuters as well, leading to numerous media inquiries during the festive season. The business practitioner, together with the city, saw it fit to call this press briefing to inform the public about the future of Pyotrans once and for all. Um, to welcome you officially, I will call upon MMC Kenny Gunene just to give us a short welcome. Thank you. Asibonge. Um, mine is just to welcome uh, all of you, uh, the media that is here. We appreciate your presence, uh, the shareholders. Uh, you touched my heart. You touched my nerves. You touched my soul. And thank you for coming. Uh, let me also welcome the officials, the drivers that work here at Piotrans. Let me welcome the business rescue practitioner, Mr. Mahir Tayop, a man that I have come to appreciate in a very short space of time. Let me also welcome the executive director, uh, the acting executive director who has been with us. We also have the head of operations uh, from transport and Tate Jeff Ngobo who is also with us. Let me welcome the president of Sabrata and the president of Santago. I was with the president of Santago this past Sunday as we were burying an icon, a man who started Santago with another gentleman that I will speak about uh, at, the, at the time when I am addressing you. I want to thank you all for coming. Bo mama, bo baba, some of you, lenalidi ichu ichu. But when we call upon the meetings to come and tell you about your company, you always make time. Today, we are celebrating a historic moment in the life of Piotrans. Uh, for now, I want to welcome all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you. I get worried when the MMC speaks. Sometimes he gives away too much. <laughs> I'm going to call upon the acting director, Mr. Benny Mokoha, just to give us a brief background on the administration and the relationship between the city of Johannesburg and Piotrans. Mr. Benny. Uh, thank you, program director. Uh, thank you, MMC for transport. Uh, Councillor Kenny Gunene. Uh, I also want to thank uh, the business rescue practitioner, Mr. Mahir Tayop, that I began to meet uh, when things were happening around December. I was also thrown in the deep as an acting executive director. I can't say at the wrong time because uh, everyone at the office was on leave. I was the only director at the time, the director at the time where, you know, things were happening. Uh, members of the media, I also want to thank you because it was at the time where, you know, Piotrans was placed under business rescue and the uh, members of the media, you know, uh, was all over Piotrans at the time. And I also want to thank, thank them dearly because at that time information was important to our shareholders of Piotrans in particular and also members of the public. And members of the media were able to help us a lot. I just want to give a, a brief background on the administrative side 
of the, of the business relationship that we have with Biotrans. And I don't have a speech. Uh, I, I just want to speak from the heart because um, Biotrans is like our firstborn in the BRT business. Mistakes were made and uh, in every situation where you are first in the market, all the, the other business entrants learn from your mistake and then uh, uh, strategize as to how they can outbid you. But in this business, uh, other municipalities were actually coming to Piotrans to learn more about this PRT business. So I would say Piotrans was more exemplary to the current and the future PRT. It was just unfortunate that uh, it was in the situation that it's in right now. And it was also fortunate to have uh, the MMC of transport, uh, Councillor Kenukunene. I would say is the Messiah because I will say is the Messiah and the Liberator because when he sees negatives, he turns negatives into positives. When we brief him about Piotrans, we informed him that MMC Piotrans was given a 12-year contract that ended last year in January. Uh, that is legislation. We, that was negotiated, the 12-year negotiated contract. And then it is now extended to a two-year uh, contract on a month-to-month, -month, uh, on, on 24 months contract. Uh, I mean, a, a two-year contract on a month-to-month -month basis. And unfortunately, it was placed under business rescue in December. From the city side, we welcome the business rescue because it is going to give us a new lease of life of moving forward to make sure that the interests of the shareholders are protected. So we are working hand in hand with the business rescue practitioner. We are working hand in hand with the shareholders. All what we do is communicated uh, timelessly and effectively to the shareholders. In fact, yesterday, there was a shareholder, there was a creditors meeting where Mr. Tayop was openly addressing all the creditors and fortunately he was given 98% vote to go ahead. So in brief, so in brief from the city side, we are 100% behind Piotrans. We are 100% behind the business rescue. We are now going to uh, work on the issue of the buses because the people of Soweto at the moment need Piotrans. So there's going to be lots of um, uh, recovery plans to make sure that buses are repaired and maintained, to make sure that buses are back on the road. I don't want to talk much, but thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Mokocha. Ladies and gentlemen, there is an announcement. Um, there's a couple of cars that security needs just to move. HT32LBGP. HT32, oh, it's LSGP. As well as KTH2. HKGP, KT82HKGP, then there's CR79MRGP. If you could please move those um, three cars for us. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, so without further ado, I will call back on stage uh, MMC Kenny Kunene just to give us his journey with Piotrans since assuming office. Um, you know, yesterday I actually said to the MMC that I myself am so excited about today because 
I was with him when this journey started with Pyatrans. And I remember there's been so many meetings that we've had. There's been a lot of emotions expressed. Um, and, you know, he's very fortunate because one thing that I could, can tell you is that the shareholders really welcomed him warmly. Um, and from my side, I just want to say thank you very much for accepting the MMC and allowing him to, you know, do what he needs to do in order for him to assist you. MMC, it's yours. Uh, yes, I'm feeling hot. Uh, it's a very emotional day for me. Very emotional. Um, last year, March, I was called by the executive director that the drivers of Piotrans were on strike. And uh, I decided to cancel a meeting that I was supposed to go to of the political management council of all the political parties in the GLU, in the, in the, in the coalition. I came here to this depot. I met with the shop stewards and some of the officials. And they explained to me what the problem was. But by the grace of God, there were some shareholders on the premises, led by the lady who just gave us a prayer here. And these shareholders demanded to speak to me. I was not sure if I wanted to speak to them. You know, these are former taxi owners. <laughs> They are called Abu Makes. <laughs> so I thought it was on Kezel Alam. <laughs> but they came in the boardroom. And all that they could say was, please help us. Please help us. I asked where the board was. I was told the board was at Melrose Ark. I gave an, an instruction that that board must cancel that meeting and come straight here. Within 30 minutes, they were all here in the boardroom. I got to understand the problems of Piotrans. But I got to understand why the drivers were on strike. It was the 12 years ended in January last year. Piotrans was supposed to, to have been appointed on the 1st of February on a deviation for this month to month for two year period on a performance contract. The officials at the city were not appointing Piotrans because it did not have a tax clearance certificate. But then I found out that the tax clearance was given a week before. So I called the ED and asked. Why are you not paying Piotrans? And I was told that the chairperson of the board at the time had a conflict of interest. So they can't pay Piotrans. And I said to this particular official, are you telling me that the residents of Soweto are suffering today because of a conflict of interest of a chairperson of the board? How long has, he, has she been the chairperson of the board? What you are telling me is nonsensical. I got the shop stewards. I got the finance manager. And some of the shareholders to accompany me to the city of Johannesburg. I went from office to office. Telling everyone. I am told you are the one who must sign. Sign. I went to the supply chain the head of supply chain. He gave me the same explanation. I said, Baba, you are going to pay that 38 million. Today, you are paying that 38 million. 
Mine is service delivery. Don't tell me politics. The residents of Soweto and Johannesburg must get transportation. That money was paid the following day at 9 o'clock. And the drivers were back on the road. And after that, I met with the shareholders. There's a lady that I'm not seeing here. She was crying. Yes, there she is. She was crying, saying, MMC, please help us. Our company is going down. Please help us. Our company is going down. I said, I can't help the few of you. I want to see all the shareholders. I met with all the shareholders and I gave them my help. How was I going to help them? Number one, I said all shareholders must get out of the board. We must appoint independent shareholder, uh, uh, board members who have got the expertise to run a company of this magnitude. This is a multi-billion rents company. But it has been reduced to nothing by evil people who came here and stole all these old people blindly. People came here. They stole. Mechanics, when a bus has, has got a problem of a fuse, they will come and say, the problem of the bus will cost 300000 The buses were being branded at 55000 when a bus can be branded for 15000 Evil people came to work here. And they stole this company blind. The shareholders gave me a mandate and an instruction with a resolution that they made to go and headhunt independent board members. I did so. I brought chartered accountants. I brought a legal mind. I brought someone who led the BRT in the free state. I brought people that would understand how to fix this company. But that independent board of directors was like a doctor. They found that the problems of power trans were more deeper and severe than what they could solve. But most importantly, they laid bare the company to the shareholders for the first time. The shareholders knew how much money was being stolen. The shareholders knew what was wrong with their company. And I stood back. In October, they called me after we met the shareholders and gave them a brief. There's a CEO that the board also brought. When we gave the 100 days report to the shareholders, I already had reports about this CEO. He was busy with other shareholders and officials. I recommended that the shareholders, the board must fire him and the shareholders must endorse that and he was dismissed with immediate effect. And the board then continued. End of October, the board came to me and said, we cannot rescue Piotrans. It has got too many deaths. It owes SARS in the region of 80 million. It owes other creditors in the region of 100 million. What Piotrans is making with the buses that it has, there's no way that it can survive. It's a bankrupt company. I could not sleep that day. But they said to me, there's a way. Let us go the business rescue way. But because this interim board was being sabotaged, their names were never submitted to the CIPC so that they can now appear as board of directors. So they could not approach the court to apply 
for this company to be under business rescue. But because God's hand is in Piotrans for Piotrans to survive, two companies individually, two creditors individually applied to the court for Piotrans to be put under business rescue. When I heard that, I said, Amen. Amen. But I asked them, what will solve the problem of Piotrans? They said, buses or money or both. I started using my networks to talk to big bus companies. All of them said, we can't touch Piotrans. Ibolile is rotten. All of them. They said the financials of Piotrans don't make business sense for us to give them buses. Their balance sheet is in tatters. They were telling me all these accountancy names. Mine was I promised to help these 299 shareholders. Some of them have been shot when this transaction was put together 12 years ago. Bomb Brenda were shot so that BRT must not happen. Some of them have lost their lives and their children are the ones who are beneficiaries of this empowerment transaction. How do we then let this company die? I was told that they could sell buses and share the money. I said, but where is the market for these buses? Because these buses were made specifically for these routes in Johannesburg. Who are they going to sell the buses to? I told the Section 79, I told the mayor, and I told the city manager that my personal view is that the shareholders of Piotrans were given a raw deal. People who were used to the business of taxes, of cashing every day, were put in a corporate structure without proper mentorship and training. So government has failed them. Government must fix the mess. And since I am in government, I'm going to fix that mess. I was briefed about a tender that when Piotrans 12 years ends, a tender went out, companies have uh, applied, and it doesn't look like Piotrans stands a chance. I said, over my dead body, you cannot you cannot get rid of people who gave their taxes that were generational income. Those taxes made generational income for them. Some of them inherited those taxes from their parents so that their children can inherit them. And you give them 12 years. And in that 12 years, they are stolen blind. And you must tell me about procurement processes. When 299 families are going to go without food, their children are not going to school because they are earning nothing. I said, Mayor, that is heartless. My personal view is that that tender must fall away. Piotrans must continue to operate and we must assist Piotrans so that Piotrans can be what it was meant to be. To make money more than what they made when they had taxes. It's an empowerment deal. So, I ran around. Nobody wanted to touch Piotrans. Black, white companies. Then I reached out to my older brother. I reached out to my older brother 
in KZN. I said, my brother, I need a meeting with you. I am prepared to come to Deben. We agreed I was supposed to go to Deben last week Wednesday. And he called me and said, no, I'm coming to Joburg. One of my brothers has passed on. So I'll be in Joburg on Tuesday. Let's meet. We met on Tuesday. I explained to him the problem. On Wednesday, he brought his team. I brought Mr. Adil Mayet, who, was, who is a former board member, to come and explain the details. We met on Wednesday with this man that I call a hero. A man that I asked to help me to help you, shareholders. <laughs> on Thursday, he brought more team. I brought the business rescue practitioner. And on Thursday, we sealed the deal. In two days, we sealed the deal. Mr. Manda Gaba of the Gaba brothers was prepared to take the risk and give us feeder buses at his own risk. He put his head on the block because I did not have to beg him. I said there are 299 families that are going to suffer. I need buses to give them. I had lost hope. I had lost hope. But Brahmanda Kaba said to me, Mtumande, your heart is in the right place. These are our black brothers and sisters. And I will help you. You saw me drive in with a bus from Marco Polo. Marco Polo refused to give me buses. But because Brahmanda said he will stand surety for you. He will stand surety for you. They gave the buses. I can take the praise. But the man that must take the praise is Manda Kaba. These buses he had already bought for his fleet in KZN. He said, I can wait, I still have buses. That is why in a short space of time, in a week's time, we've got six buses brand new that are standing here. There they are, some of them. They are not branded. They are brand new. These are feeder buses. We've got one bus here that has been refurbished. The BRP will give details of the deal. I said to them last week, Thursday, I've done my job. I have done my job. It's up to you to now finalize the contract. On Sunday, Mr. Adil Mayat and the BRP called me at half past 11 at night. And they said, we have concluded the contract. 
Those are your buses. Pyotrans. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much to the drivers. This is this is the first batch of buses that is coming in. They are all going to be branded Reavaya. These are going to be the feeder buses. The BRP will give details of what this means. The BRP will give details of what this means. But I can tell you in a political layman's way, being a businessman, this means more money for you. I don't want to say how many buses will be coming every week. Just for three weeks. The BRP will tell you that. The BRP will tell you that. I said, last year when I met you, I am going to help you. I have helped you. The BRP must stay here to get this company in order. He has been appointed by the High Court, not by Kenny Gunen. He has been appointed by the High Court. He is going to be here because he is a chartered accountant. He is a reputable business rescue practitioner, but he is also a forensic investigator. So, it was not a smooth journey. The previous chairperson of the board took me to court and said that I had no right to appoint a board on behalf of the shareholders. She told me when she introduced herself that she's an advocate. When I was told that she's taking me to court, I was surprised because she is the one that wrote the letter to me stating that the shareholders have resolved that the MMC must headhunt independent board members on behalf of the shareholders. She wrote that letter to me. Now she goes to court and says this man has actually done something wrong. The court said I we ask You signed this letter. Is this your signature? Yes. Did you write the letter? Yes. What are you doing here? She did not give up. Mr. Mayed represented us without any payment from you. The previous the previous CEO, Noche, 
Who stole you blind? When you fired him, he went to sue you for 12 million. He was liquidating Piotrans. Mr. Adil Mayed went to challenge that liquidation. The court said, no, go and relax. There's no liquidation here. <laughs> Mr. Adil Mayed represented you again at no cost to you. He has won different cases. He has been called my Gupta. That's Kenukunana's Gupta. He was labeled that is here to steal money. When diesel could not be bought by Piotrans because the city of Johannesburg has not paid Piotrans, Mr. Mayat will buy diesel on behalf of Piotrans so that the buses can be on the road. That is the caliber of people that I put here. Now we've got the business rescue practitioner. Who is going to take this company forward? Who is going to make sure that you are wealthy the way you deserve? Who is going to make sure that all the rotten apples are taken out of the bag of Piotrans? So my message to the officials is that if your heart was here to destroy Piotrans, you better run. To the mechanics who have been working here, destroying these buses, buying pirate parts, my message to you is one, run. Because when Mr. My, uh, Tayop finds you out, he's going to deal with you like a dog deals with a bone. He's got the full support of the city of Johannesburg. Piotrans is delivering a service of bus operation on behalf of the city of Johannesburg. So we are not going to sit back. My help does not stop. I will also be watching the BRP. I trust him. I trust him. But even trust, even trust must be guarded. I trust everybody that I meet. I just don't trust the evil inside a human being. We all have our own little evils. So I must make sure when I see the evil nyana of Mr. Mayat coming, of Mr. Tayop coming out, I say, hey, in the name of Jesus, Mr. Tayop, in the name of Jesus, let the demon lie. Let's call it by name. Demon. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus so that you can have smiles on your faces. Today it's a great day for me because my efforts have put a smile on your faces. Some of you did not believe in my efforts. Some of you thought that uh, I am coming to steal money from Piotrans and to go and buy sushi. <laughs> God has given me a beautiful wife There's no more sushi I now eat sushi from a plate <laughs> Like normal people <laughs> Not the crazy old me <laughs> But if my wife gave me a chance To eat it on that plate I will go back <laughs> I also want to thank a man who called me after the announcement that I was the MMC of transport 
and there was a strike. The first day I came here, this big brother of mine called me and said, the son of Kunene, the son of the free state, please help Piotrans. Ministers came on my show. They said this deal was forever. When the papers came, it was 12 years. This gentleman said to me, help these people. I am begging you. Dada Tusomuta, may you please stand up? I invited him today. I invited him Dada Tuso because when you call him, especially Bo Mama who are sitting at home waiting for, a, for an SMS to just say ting on their phones. But if it's on phone, it's a gun. It's a WhatsApp. When it does not come, you will call in Tate Tusom Tawu. Tate Tusom Tawu will call me on his show to come and talk to you. So Tate Tuso has been behind Pio Trans. When there are confusions and controversies, Tate Tuso will say, the people of Soweto are calling me. Come to the show and explain. And you know what he does? He doesn't tell me a time two days before. Eh? He calls me. When I answer, I'm already live on radio. I can't say I'm busy. And he was doing that so that I can speak truthfully. I must not go and prepare and spin. I am the only politician, maybe uh, if not myself and Mr. McKenzie. We don't know how to spin. We tell the truth. We can't spin. We tell the truth. Probably because we are from prison. We are afraid of lying. <laughs> so, I want to thank you very much for putting your trust the future of your children and your grandchildren in my hands for believing in me you have showed me you have shaped me as a leader you have given me confidence that I can lead you have remodeled me and today I'm happy so when you see Manda Gaba, salute him. When you hear somebody insulting Manda Gaba, defend him. Myself and him will be meeting with the city and the BRP. I don't understand why Piotrans can't be paid every week. Because the money of Piotrans comes from the fares that are being paid. We want to talk to the city manager that the account of Piotrans be ring fenced. So that that fare goes into a specific account and it pays Piotrans so that it can buy diesel, so that it can pay salaries on time. Piotrans must be paid on time by the city of Johannesburg. So, myself and the BRP are going to meet with Piotrans. But because Ntate Mandagaba has taken a risk, because Ntate Mandagaba has taken a risk, I want him to be part of that meeting because he must be paid. He must be paid for those kilometers. He has taken a risk that no one wanted to take. Piotrans must be paid on time. It's not up for a discussion. 
when the city has problems, it must not take the money of Piotrans to solve its problems. Eh, eh. This one is for Piotrans, is for the face. I have started putting cameras as the Department of Transport. When I say I, I mean Transport Department. We have started to put cameras in the buses of Metrobus. We have started putting Wi-Fi, free Wi-Fi, sushi Wi-Fi, <laughs> in the buses of Metro Bus. We have started installing a payment system where you can pay with your card, your bank card, in the buses of Metro Bus. We are going to do the same. A company has just been appointed, Nebra Jeff. We are going to do the same with the buses of Reavaya at no cost to you, at the cost to the city. I'm right, Brajev. I'm right, Iti. Politicians don't ask officials when they tell some truth. You must ask them. It must not be my thing. So, we want to introduce a cashless system in the buses so that the drivers can deal with that evil that makes them take money and put it in their pockets. When you take money and put it in your pocket, you are destroying your job. Because when Piotrans closes down, you are going to lose the job as a driver. So I'm appealing to all of you, officials and shareholders, let us work together. Let us unite to make this firstborn baby of BRT in this country to be a role model to all the other uh, BRTs that will come. God does things in his own time. Piotrans will prevail. Piotrans will survive. You will die very happy with money in your bank accounts. That I can guarantee you. Salute. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you very much, ABC. Okay. Uh, one last thing. The presidents of the taxi associations are here. And I must tell them what I'm doing for them. I am in politics to serve our people. I have put a report together. Peter. I have put a report together. That report should find its way in the mayoral committee and in council. The report is very clear. All the taxi ranks in the city of Johannesburg must be maintained, must be cleaned, security must be provided by the taxi associations. Because the city is paying companies to clean the taxi ranks, yet the taxi ranks are filthy. Crime is happening at the taxi ranks. Bontate Twala and Intate Moyo took me to run back taxi rank that is run by the taxi associations. It is clean. There is no crime. There is criminals don't even think of working there. Even the ladies of the night stand there. I went to ask them. Why do you stand here? I didn't go to them for a service. It was for a question. <laughs> so, they said, we are standing here because nobody bothers us with our clients. So, I have put that report in that event at the Peter's. And I want you to take it countrywide because it's going to happen. And I said, I'm going to invite you and 
Bontate Twala, who are the leaders of Santago and NTA, Lentate Moyo, here in the city of Johannesburg, to come to the city council the day we must vote. Because it must go to council so we can vote. Now there are some people there in council. When you are empowering black people, they oppose. The reason I'm inviting you is because I want to tell the speaker that, Madam Speaker, before I present the report, I want to tell all the councillors in here that I've invited the taxi association leaders. They are sitting up there from national to local. I invited them so that I don't have to be their impimpi. They must come and witness for themselves and they can also take videos. When we vote, they must take videos and see who is not voting for this thing I want to do for them. What they do with those people, hey, I've got nothing to do with it. But I am giving all the taxi ranks to the taxi associations to run because they told me there will be no crime, they will, the taxi ranks will be clean, there will be proper security, and I saw evidence of that. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, MMC. Mudimu yeah. Mukholu. Upalavaloi. You know, sometimes more life in Rokopanali Batu and you don't know why. And only after things happen, while the And I'm glad that with this interaction, it was beneficial for both parties. Because MMC says, he wants when you die, you must die with money in your accounts. But it was beneficial for him as well because he grew spiritually and he grew as a person. So this was quite a blessing. I did say when we started this morning that it's going to be a blessed day. And I hope everybody leaves here very happy. Ladies and gentlemen, I am now going to call upon uh, the business rescue practitioner, Mr. Tayo. Um, I think the shareholders met him yesterday. Um, we've heard so much about him. Many people have heard um, him speak about Piotrans on the radio. Um, he will be taking us through the future of Piotrans. Welcome, Mr. Tayo, please. MMC, there is a proverb that says, trust but verify. <laughs> the MMC of Transport, Mr. Kenny Konene, Executive Director of Transport, Mr. Benny Mohoha, members of the council, President of Sentaco, Mr. Tsebe, President of Sabrata, Mr. Peters, Representatives from Nissan SA, Mr. Mohamed Mullah from Marco Polo SA, Mr. Haba Jr., shareholders and ultimate beneficiaries, members of the press, union officials, employees, ladies and gentlemen. By way of in introduction, my name is Mayur Teob. I'm a specialist forensic auditor, senior business rescue practitioner, an accountant and a turnaround consultant. In recent vintage, I have stood before you and I have exposed the trouble circumstances that Payutrans found itself in. This, I maintain, was due to fraud, mismanagement, maladministration, amongst other unsavory practices. My commitment to litigate and to prosecute remains unwavering. I am happy to announce that my appointment as the BRP was sanctioned at a creditors meeting yesterday by an impressive 98,6% of 
of creditors, including SARS, and the city ratifying my appointment. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, when I assumed the role of BRP in December, we had an average of 10 buses on the road. Today, we are on 45, with another 10 expected to join our existing fleet. The steadfast support from the MMC and the city made my task manageable. We spoke with one voice, aligned our mindsets, and mapped a clear and concise path. A few days ago, and after painstaking negotiations, we concluded, concluded a deal with Mr. Mandla Kaba and his associates to introduce 45 feeder buses to our fleet. The consequential effect is that the city's objectives will be met and Piotrans will become profitable and cash positive. Our historic, historical debt will be serviced, employment safeguarded, taxes to the fiscal and payments to the shareholders and ultimate beneficiaries will continue. <laughs> Drivers will be trained, buses will be uh, properly serviced and certified. The MMC and ED have already introduced our new fleet and refurbished buses which will soon take to the streets. I undertook to avoid disruptions to commuters and I intend to honor that commitment. It is also incumbent upon me to recognize the role of Santaco and Sabrata. I have lobbied both institutions to serve on my advisory committee. My intention is to unite all moving parts of the rapid transit industry and make it an indivisible whole. I am extremely satisfied with the gains made and I will allow the respective presidents to address you in this regard. In closing, ladies and gentlemen, I want to leave you with these parting words. No one escapes pain, fear and suffering. Yet from pain comes wisdom. From fear can come courage. From suffering can come strength if we have the virtue of resilience. I believe that everyone at Payo Trans has that resilience and together we will once again rise to unimaginable heights. I thank you. Kibata who it's a point it's a three that the BRP has mentioned. One, jobs will be safe. Number two, ROT will be paid. Number three, Piotrans will be cash positive. When Piotrans is cash positive, it means Piotrans will pay its creditors. Piotrans will be out of debt. The shareholders will make more money. So that is in summary. So aning asibuwa to give you confidence. Usabedi sitse a word yesterday and said he said I'm going to make you wealthy. To the drivers. The BRP is going to introduce industry standard practices for drivers. Drivers will be evaluated every three months. That's the industry practice. Drivers are going to be trained. Those that have been trained are going to be retrained. Piotrans must be a world-class bus company. And that is what we are going to make it. If you don't want to be part of a clean, professional Piotrans, run. Uh, Mr. Mandla Gaba could not make it as he had other obligations in KZN. He's meeting government today uh, in KZN. But he has sent his son, Gaba Jr., to come and represent him. And I would like him to stand up 
uh, so that we can just acknowledge him. That is Draba Junior. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, we're almost at the end of our program. Uh, but before we wrap up, I would just like to call upon three more speakers. Um, the first being the president of Sabrata, just to give us a message of support, please. Thank you. Moluene. Hey, I'm very happy to be here today. I'm very, very happy since I've been involved with Piotrans. As I'm sitting here, it gives me hope. I've been with Piotrans for quite some time, and we're discussing problems without a solution. And today we'll find a solution. Uh, I'm supporting the business rescue wholeheartedly because we are going to achieve what we failed to achieve for the past 12 years to look after the shareholders and to make sure that the company is well run, there's good governance. The last time I was at Piotrans at MMC, I went there at Piotrans uh, to disrupt the tender process, if you still remember. I went there to disrupt the tender process because there's nothing else for the shareholders if they can lose this business. Because government has promised you a better life by the introduction of the BRT. And today the BRT is under siege for the same government and those who have money. And today the MMC of transport is the only person that is speaking on behalf of the shareholders. That is speaking on behalf of making sure that those who have started the BRT, the BRT will end with them. And I keep on saying to the people when I speak to them that the BRT of the tax industry is under siege. We've got two enemies that we must safeguard the interest of this BRT. Uh, we've got leaders that have an authority to make decisions on behalf of us. And we've got Bus companies who've got money that have been operating for years and years and they want to take over the PRD. The other one has money, it's just that he's greedy. The other one doesn't have money, he has a decision making but he's hungry. Uh, those two stomachs are very, very problematic for us. And I'm happy today to be here to say Esa Brada will support the business rescue up to a point where we are part of it to make sure that the shareholding of Piotrans remain the same and they're in the better position than before. But I want to talk to you, the shareholders. To be very honest, we have put yourselves in this mess. And we need to be very honest. And I don't want us to talk back about what we have done. But also I want us to talk about the future. You must be united in purpose. And Piotrans must be at the center of that unity, not individuals. Last week I was invited by the drivers and I had an opportunity to, to talk to them. I was very excited when they invited me. And one of the things that I told them was that, look, you must not be part of the politics of Piotrans. You must not listen to anybody that says go on strike without reasons. Because others want you to go on strike so that the process of truth cannot be revealed. And I want all of you today to make sure that you are united in purpose. And other people will say, we don't want a business rescue. When you ask them why, they can't give you reasons. Uh, the only reason that they can tell you, we don't trust the Indians. <laughs> <laughs> and lastly, I would like to thank the MMC. 
uh, MMC Kenigunene to understand the plight of the people of Soweto. And also to understand that the PRT was meant for our people. And the PRT will remain with our people. As a brother, we spent almost 600,000 to fight the extension of this contract. Because this biotransmitter is not only for you. It's for all of us in the PRT, even in the Western Cape, in Cape Town, where I'm responsible for. If these shareholders, they lose this PRT, all of us, we are going to lose. Because those stomachs, those two stomachs, are very dangerous for us. And to Santago, to NTA, you must never abandon us. We are your children. The PRT was born out of the womb of the tax industry. Therefore, it is very critical that you work with us, you support, with us, you support us, and make sure that at the end of the day, that promise of a better life for those that are part of this one. When I saw Tadukin on TV, I felt like crying because 12 years back, he was not promised what is happening today. We will fight for the 12-year contract to be repealed. There will be no 12-year contract as long as we are still alive. Because if we allow a 12-year contract, what it means? Government, the national government, they bear us alive. If we allow a 12-year contract. You will be stranded on the street begging for food. Whereas they dispossessed our business. If it was their form of disposition of our business, we are going to fight for it with everything that we have. I thank you. Thank you very much, Mr. Peters. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the president of Santaco, Mr. Tsebe. Uh, thank you very much uh, to colleagues, the shareholders, uh, tax industry, your UTAF top six, NTA, and uh, business practitioner, uh, Mayir Tayop, and Uba Bukunen, uh, the MMC of transport in the city of Johannesburg, uh, all members of the city of Johannesburg present with us here today. Uh, I greet you all. I think most of you, you are wondering what I would say, what figures are to go in Zanja. Angisho, remember, we have a very big assignment to unite and lead. So, in terms of unity, you hear me, I was with Mamu Prenda, I was with the president of uh, NTA, Uba Masitze. And I'm always with the deputy president of NTA Uba Masang in Pretoria. And so when I was watching on the news, then I get worried seeing your shareholding being unaffected, the labor part affected. And I start saying, hey, I know we cannot just fold our arms and say, no, we are not part of this. They must see to finish. They are on their own. Because remember, for you to become what you are, you come from the taxi industry and you are still part of the taxi industry. We've not divorced uh, our shareholding, our companies, our PRT, but this Piotrans, I think, is the first of its kind in this province, and it was never easy. It was never easy. Sing a call, for last we are called. Yeah. So when someone comes, and I was watching there, and I'm happy to announce that I'm also chairing the board of Ariane. I'm the chairperson of the board. I've gone to courses, I've done IODSA, I've written exams. I was told about the fiduciary duties because myself and Tatema Slangu, when the industry elected us, we were given a mandate by the industry. By the way, I'm not even affected by BRT in, it, in an association where I operate. Uh, but members of Slangu are affected. But I'm chairing the board. He's the deputy chairperson of the board. So we won this thing because we told ourselves, like, we told our members, no more fighting. 
Yeah, the, the road is too long for us to make or bring value to our lives. No one will bring lives or value to us without us coming in and agreeing. Uguti, lempi suyilu asusonke. As the president of Santago, my task is very simple. is to make sure that the 12-year contract becomes just a lip service. It must not be practical. But I can tell you now that from all levels of government, I'm the last line of defense. And I'm saying, committing today to say to you, there's no 12-year contract here. It matters not even if it's written on paper and it's illegal. We'll go to court if we have to fight. So it's either we're going to talk about it in the Kenny, or we will have to engage in a court of law to say, Bako Nabandu Bebasabenza Mak contract is a green contract. There's no problem, Tina Siakala. Says in 12 years. Sing Agaham, we can't do that. So that's why I'm here. And I said to myself, look, you would remember that in the Ariang, let me tell you an example of Ariang where I operate, what has happened. There was a conflict, a very big conflict, the Agapat in Mamelodi. If you would read and watch the news. And if Padko withdraw their service from Mamelodi. Sange. Sange, and I said, hi. Njengo baba hampili si zonge, na singa nama pas. Satata on alaka PRT, safaka konali. And our members like, oh, no, si fu nama benefits, fu nama pas we PRT. Eh, eh, watch out. This is the PITOC contract, this one. It's not a BRT. We are happy to announce that Miami Lodi, as we speak, is operated by taxi operators. The buses that you normally saw them, they are called, they've written matrans. Those are taxi operators. The matrans is a business for taxi operators. Two associations in Miami Lodi, they came together. It's not a BRT. And then, you know, there were processes. The contract was advertised. And the good thing about Miami Lodians is that there was no one who will go and operate there. No one. They will they fight for their own benefit. Today, that contract officially we took it via TRT, which is your Tswana Rapid Transit, and we took Matrans in. They've got a subcontract into their own BRT. Remember now, by Langap, Nangap. Now the Mamilodi operations are fully operational and they've got another 12 years that they need to operate. 12 years on a PITOC contract, not on a BRT. Leng it aikole. Until sitole le right. Now, it was, when, when they advertised for the buses, Babukunen, and then we fought, uh, we came in and we said, Mami Lord, it's done. We took over and we said, on other PITOC contracts, we need 30%. And when we were negotiating, because negotiations are negotiations, we only managed to get 15%. And I was involved, I said, it's fine. But my intention is to get 100%. A journey of 1,000 miles start with the first step because we don't have enough passes. But we are happy to announce that as we are doing these PITOC contracts, we were able to get one, Mamelodi, to get Mabupa Nehaman Skral Harangua, contracts with 45 buses as we speak. So it's action. Now we are, we are fighting BRTs, but at the same time, we are addressing PITOC. In Soweto, you've got your PATCO. We are also coming for Soweto to say, PATCO, you're going to give Abantu a percentage here. It's a demand. We don't have to beg for it. It's what belongs to you. And in terms of setting the board, Shareholders, you've learned your lessons. Go back to the drawing board or even go to school. I still remember myself and Tatama Sangu Mahir. Mahir was, in fact, my mentor. He started me when I was very young. Eh? Mahir. No, I, if you, you've got Mahir, I will tell you, you've got the right person in the right place. This one. No, that one I can, I can assure you. Uh, when I was still young, I think uh, with a small fleet of two taxis, small two taxis, uh, Mahir was my financial advisor. Uh, he was in Erasmus, I'm right, ne? Yeah, Erasmus. 
and I was still young. Now I'm a fleet owner. I'm also a small bus operator as well. Personally, not via my taxi. In my taxi, I'm in my bus. So when I address bus issues, I know what I'm talking about. I'm doing uh, TUT services. Now, so wait to. The time has come. I don't want to dwell into challenges. I've seen the interviews when the, the chairperson of the board was asked questions by the media uh, and then she was saying, I don't know. And I mean, from the school that I come from, they said, you can't say you don't know if you are the chairperson of the board. And I said, yes, he's thinking, he's an advocate. And I was worried. I said, hey, Kandi, Pyotrans, where did you get it wrong? I'm a pass amile. And I met Umahiri. When that day Manja spoke to Wukun and I was there, I was not in the same meeting, but, but I was there because Umabu Manja is the father of the taxi industry, of course. The one that I'm take, talking about, the PITOC contract, he's the one who came up with it. And we established companies for taxi associations because we don't want them to operate individually. But we set up structures so that they can be members, shareholders, this side and also this side. And we also have the one that we need to ad announce from World Bank and DBSA. The first project will run very soon. We will come and introduce it. That is taxi operation. So we want to make sure that the integrated public transport service, we are part of it. That is why we attended a meeting in Gauteng that day, uh, I think, I'm not sure you were in that meeting where they said how they must be cashless by the 4th of April, 2024. Cashless. Meaning taxi industry is going cashless. Yes. The same ticket that we use, you'll use it. In, you, we don't want too many tickets uh, in, in your wallet. You need to have one ticket and get into how train, get into Reavaya, get into Arian, get into a taxi. So we want this, because it's integrated, we want these benefits. And I also challenge Iprasa to say, we want to feed the trains. It's another opportunity. And it's not a dream. We are on it. We spoke to the CEO, young as I am. I mean, I did not lobby to become a president of Santaco. I was taken in four days. I was the chairperson one day. Three days I became the president of Santaco. So meaning, what people saw from me, I must not disappoint them. And I don't want history to repeat itself where NTA gets into a meeting in Santiago, they cannot sit face to face and I said to them and myself and Tadema Sita we said this must be buried going forward we are going to work as one and that's why I'm standing here proudly to say the taxi industry the perception that we are not united is history as of today I want to allude to you that the taxi industry is indeed united now. You can test it, you will see it. It will happen. So we don't want something very important in terms of the runback. The runback taxi uh, rank is where I operate. We've got all these structures, but it's united. What is the difference? When I talk to SA Taxi Finance and say uh, the problems of the taxi operator is not uh, what you, you think maybe you'll give 20 rand to association is the installment. Let's talk about the price of the car, the installment. TRSA scraping for those that are still this side and wants to scrap their cars. We need to have a one-stop shop. When I was with Madam uh, Brenda, I given her an example of a one-stop shop in Olive and Old Bosch that will be launched by the 28th of uh, I think it's February, uh, where you have what you call business in a box. For the first time, associations owning a special shop of their own. They've got their own board. I'm not even part of that. The funding was arranged and also their own depot in terms of petrol and diesel. But let me tell you and assure you, if you are not united, other stakeholders will never agree that we come up with these opportunities. Because to some, remember we are a majority in terms of public transport providers. So you have what you call formalization. As you, you are dealing with how, you cannot always say, I will drive a bit. Because if you don't address labor, 
this project, this Kulmangazo, they will never be a success. Drivers will always protest and strike. Now we are formalizing and say our drivers must have proper employment. They must get UIF. So we are on it. The Department of Labor is advertising so that we can come teach our drivers their responsibilities and they must know why UIF is important for them. And also for the operators to say, as we in song, the systems and about driver bay to so that they comply. But remember, uh, and my year, I think this lesson I've learned it long time ago. Uguti, when you want to, to formalize labor individually, like what we, are, what we are doing when we are owning Texas individual, it's going to be a very difficult one. So what we need to do, we need associations to form companies that will become employment companies that employs all drivers and control all drivers. That's where we are. And we are saying no job losses. When you need drivers in Biotrans or in, uh, uh, what do you call, in Cape Town, we need to have a basket of drivers where we get our drivers that are promoted from the taxi drivers into the bus sector. We cannot leave them be, uh, behind. So we want to applaud with you and say to you, uh, Piotrans, a uh, job well done. We were worried. Upapa Manda has come to the rescue. And also, Mayur was telling me that some of the buses will be going for refurbishment. And you will start using your buses. Your commuters will get services. Shareholders, maybe you'll get your, uh, what do you call your, your dividends. And, 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 but hence, I said to you, you've got the right person in the right place. I can guarantee you now, as Santago, and NTA, we are saying, we are going to look at this and stop these critics and try and build up this investment, your investment, and make sure that you achieve the best ever. And we want also you to do like Cape Town, uh, build a, a, a investment portfolio your, where you are able to even get into the property space, you know, develop, uh, sell. And Cape Town is doing very well, and I think... When we went to the, uh, North, North, North America, we've seen uh, uh, Curitiba and Bogota. The other one started before. The other one, the first one, was not that successful. But the second one, learned mistakes from the first one. So we need to learn. So since you've learned this and we've come to this far, business rescue, don't be stressed by the word business rescue. And you need also those that can be able to afford also bring your kids into the space so that they understand. Let's take our own and become and do a secular economy. A secular economy, some they regard it as a spider web where everything rotates amongst us. No, uh, uh, why Amapunu? Uh, why uh, Indians? Why uh, the Jews? What stops you to do like Jews? Let's do it now. And Piotrans, we are happy to come and support. We are here to support. You've got a full support from Santaco National. And we are also going to lobby uh, NTA. I think most of you, Mama, we are going to lobby and make sure that unity that we are talking about. We were in Bloomfontein having a prayer day. That the Tusomtaung was there. We had a prayer session there, and then the prayer day for October this year comes to Houting. We hope to see you because the Sabians are going to attend us. Sitting kulukuli si atrela, senzega ali. Ugoti smele labantu gali. So let us represent you, represent your interest. Tina from National. You will never get us coming. Sifunufangi sande malin. Sila ugun support. Nenti zio because we've got the passion of this investment that you are in. We thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. David. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, to conclude this part of the program, we're going to call upon one of the shareholders of Piotrans. Mr. Mandla, um, just to come and say a few words um, on behalf of the shareholders. Thank you. Sanbonan, Enam Sanjang has no good team. Mang pega la matota. Mang pega 
Obab Ken. We are the corner into Abaisho Yoguti sometimes. Uncle Uncle Magaleta into Ezo Caesar as a bone. Yaz Benzima Mfuetu Abanye Basho Logo, Abanye Basho Logo. Yeah, quarter today. Sabona, Miss Benzi, a mince. You go meeting for Nuguta Mashe holders. I'm Sazin as we are with tax industry. School less by any. Bessima la pe as by any. Mouse agree to Columis Lung, Bessio Cite, Labon Wati, Labocono, Chairman Wambegatan, Gushoganjan. Eh, I see, I won't want to buy a shoop. Got a Sabatina, one of Wati. Mobage, Mfunanjo, Ugnigaza, eh, Obabukeni, Nepot, Asnigaza, Begunzim, eh, Namanje, Ben Ben Kabanguti Bazobacon, especially Mr. Mayat, no Quintin. I remember Lamatota Angbiza sent in. As Mogonama Totakala, it was difficult. But him with Kumalo Siae, Alentoin. Yazi Nakina Namsen Kalana, Nitbafui to Agasin. Angagas, it's a Sambirangaga. Bessenia Lento, but no, no, no. Rebona is in Tobang Bonisa, is in Abantu, Beba Kulumangazo. So you go meeting Funa Mashe old as it is. Nyaz Gutabany Bazo Bangu Zemen Bek Tiwan, you won't call me Sizul with Sizwen Gash. Young Gint. Ubuti Lababan Beba Teleganzi. But Baza Bank Labatin Fuet is an ele on to go to Stale Lane. Mouti Stale Stale and Alip. Not okay. Don't communicate with anyone. Communicate an army from now. Is obese about chairman in Basanganis. We are divided about chairman Sasala. I was appointed to be a chairperson of all chairs, and I was not there. I was driving from Fender Stop. But for Nabate, Mr. Kumalo, a Fuso Uzo leader, I'm a chairperson. And Mang Figa, it was not easy. But in Tengi Bonga, your foot, Mbonga Buti, Ekunin. Sickness is born. Yes, only one. Sad buffet taxis go to Scabane. She has this boy go to the taxi industry. Abanye, Ebesamba Nabo, Abea Comanje, and Ale Guti, Besna Bonsan. Ntanda, Namanje, Mangs Obona, Amalidas eight. From Guguma Taxi Association, a supporter. She has a special team, and Jangati were expelled from Guguma Association eight. But Nam Sanje, Sia Chabula must born a guti if if family is as well come a guti no bafuit Magunje not is Kalanan because a clean swing Lendo ya figa get his nas nix si plank Safiga not September Bantu Abastate bas bega pants Lendo Ubab Ken bega shoguti sometimes Uktembu muntu, nienda wae painati, bengliwe lengi itabaha ngangiti. Hei, uktembu muntu, uti lo muntu lo na uzo kseza, kandi na ulambile. Hei, so, nite nje, ngobe skata siko, uguti nje nisho ngiti, bafuit. Mr. Tayob, the first time I saw you, I said, if you fail, to help us, I'll be dead. You remember those words? Yeah. I said, if you don't pay these shareholders, I'll be dead. So I'm happy today because I see that you are, we are the men of your words. Today I see the buses and I see the smile in the shareholders. So I say thank you and thank you. But the biggest man, sushi man, Ah, <laughs> hey, you know what? I know this man from a, a, a stupid cobra chicks. Yeah, yeah. We, we, we used to meet Dal, but today, Sabo, 
We thank you. Oguti, me 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 shareholders. I was in Amoguti Ang Tembe, Guti, Bab Kumalo, the city has ten years. I remember the Sebatan Obusale Lens, Uhamba Namandi, the Say Lent, Uguti, and Tati Business, to Namandi, but Namshanj, Siabona Guti Gushi, Siaz Guti, and was all Nama shareholders. Jongo Bushil, Guti Snasa, Libelis Pegana, Gutuban Wenze, Nuban Wenze, Ascolelane, Snieze. Oh, Mr. Tayop, and um seven work. We said, right on, brother. Right on, brother. We are, we, are, we, are, we are going to support you. Anything you need, we are here as shareholders because if it was not you and Mr. Kenny and the board, we don't know. Uh, I don't know where is Mr. Mayet. Hey, that man. Oh, yeah. You know, I want. Where is he? Yeah. Mr. Mayet must come here. Yes. Must come here. Yeah. Because you know what? Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. This guy. Yeah, he must come here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This guy, I Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, sure. This has been one roller coaster journey for everyone. But Fandaka Kilzazila, we do mail. That's why I guess I'm going to stop all your bell. Um, ladies and gentlemen, we have come to the conclusion of this part of uh, the program. I am going to call upon um, all the gentlemen that are sitting here behind me uh, from MMC Kenny Kunene, the business rescue practitioner, the acting executive director, the two presidents, um, um, to please just join us over there as we officially come and cut the ribbon for today's occasion. And then to the members of the media, um, once we're done with that section, or with that session, um, you're welcome to come back and um, the floor will be open to questions, to the panel as well as the shareholders, I'm sure they're also um,